Hello, thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. This video will cover how to upgrade your SOLIDWORKS software. One of the quickest and easiest ways to go about this is through SOLIDWORKS itself. Under the help menu, either through this flyout, help, check for updates, or the little question mark over here drops down for a similar menu. Now, before you do this, you may want to change your serial number. It's often the case that when we are using SOLIDWORKS or upgrading SOLIDWORKS, we may have uh, allowed the software renewal to expire in 2019 or in 2018, whatever the case may be. If you need to switch out your licenses, we'll have to instead go to the control panel. So under your start menu, control panel, and finally programs and features. This is similar to uninstalling. So just really quickly, if we choose to change the SOLIDWORKS application, one of the very first screens on this installation manager allows me to review, change, delete serial numbers. In my case today, we have no need for this, so we'll go ahead and close this out, exit without changes, and I don't need the control panel. Instead, I'm gonna use the SOLIDWORKS help flyout to check for updates. This also opens the installation manager. The installation manager will go out and check on the SOLIDWORKS database to see what versions are available for download. And as you can see, the first choice is beta one. And we wouldn't recommend using that in a production environment. So unless you're testing, we'll wanna go with one of these proper service packs. I'll choose service pack three and click next. Now this message about a reboot is often shown in 2020 Unfortunately, even if it's not true, we may see this message. So my recommendation is to ask yourself, have I rebooted this machine recently? If you rebooted this last night, don't worry about the message. You can just click OK. If you haven't rebooted in days and days, then it's possible that some Windows update or some other software has updated and you should go ahead and take the advice to um, cancel the install and reboot first. I'm gonna say okay and let the installation manager proceed. We'll make sure that install on this computer is selected and choose next. The next screen suggests that we should close SOLIDWORKS. It's a running process that would need to be closed in order to proceed. Choose next after closing SOLIDWORKS down. And on this summary screen, we can review all of the finer details. The products that are installed are listed first. The download options are second. Installation location usually doesn't change. Toolbox whole, world, whole wizard also would not likely change on an upgrade like this. All that's left to do is download and install. Okay, and that is it. We can see the installation is complete on this confirmation screen. This show me what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2020 checkbox, if checked, will allow a PDF to pop up and give you some insight into the new features. I highly recommend leaving that on. Um, even if you just want to save that file to your desktop and review it later, that will give you the, uh, the general overview of new features and things that you can take advantage of in your upgraded software. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave us a comment or suggest in the comments a video you'd like to see in the future.